Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Just Bet Before the Whistle. I'm Terry Carrell Reed and this is my dashing co-host. Oh, thank you, Terry. You're looking pretty awesome yourself. Thank you. My name is Andre Lou. They call me the betting boss. You know this works. We're here to give the top Just Bet odds, tips, and predictions for this weekend's top sporting events. And we're gonna take a look at the NFL. Guys, it's time for preseason. The Seattle Seahawks still play the Denver Broncos in Seattle this Friday night, game time, 9 p.m. What a just bet odds. The Seahawks are favored to win by five and a half points. And I know it's been a while, so here's how it works. If you pick the Seahawks to win, they need to win by at least six points. The under over comes in at 36 and a half points, and this means you can bet whether or not the combined score for both teams will be under or over 37 points. So this game is a rematch of the Super Bowl a couple seasons ago in which the Seahawks completely demolished the Broncos to win the title. Now remember guys, this is preseason, therefore the team starters will hardly play. But one thing is for sure, over the past few seasons, the Seahawks have been almost unbeatable at home. That being said, I'm going to go with the Seahawks for the win or for the game to go under. Terry, there are just too many things happening in Seattle right now. Too many distractions. I'm picking the Broncos to win this game or for the game to go under. Such a hater. Whatever. No, I just know my stuff. Seahawks. In the Barclays Premier League, Manchester United will take on Aston Villa at Villa Park this Friday, match time 1.45 p.m. Now the just bet odds. An Aston Villa win brings in $5.25, a Manchester United win $1.65, odds of a draw $3.75. Now Terry, Manchester United weren't too impressive last week against Tottenham, however, they got the win and that was all that really mattered. Manchester United have been Aston Villa in 9 of their last 10 meetings, but Aston Villa did hold Manu to a one hour draw the last time these two teams met at Villa Park last season. Still, I'm gonna pick Manu to win this game by a goal to nil. You're so stingy. I also have Manchester United for the win. However, my scoreline is three goals to one. One love, better scoreline. You're yeah, a mean man. All right, folks, time for some more football. And there's a big match in the Barclays Premier League this weekend. Chelsea will travel to the Etihad Stadium to face Manchester City this Sunday, match time 10 a.m. No time for the just bet odds. A win for Manchester City brings in 2 dollars 15 A win for Chelsea brings in 3 dollars 40 with odds of a draw coming in at 3 dollars 30 Guys, Manchester City looked pretty impressive in their win over West Brom on Monday. But let's be serious, it was just West Brom. Chelsea, on the other hand, was almost beaten by Swansea in their opening match when their goalkeeper got a red card but they were able to hold on to the two all draw. You guys know I love Chelsea, you know I love the Blues but my gut is telling me Manchester City is gonna pull off the win two goals to one. Now both matches between Manchester City and Chelsea ended in one all draws last year and I'm banking on that actually happening again this year. I'm picking this game to end one all. I still love you Chelsea! All right, time for my winning picks. I have the Broncos to win or the game to go on that odds of $1.80. I have Man U winning by a goal to nil at odds of $7. And I have Man City and Chelsea playing to a one all draw at odds of $6, bringing my total odds to $75.60. Meaning, if you put $1,000 on these predictions, you could win over $75,000. Here are my big money winning picks. I have the Seahawks to win or the game to go on that odds of $1.80. I have Manchester United for the win, three goals to one at amazing odds of $11. And I have Manchester City for the win, two goals to one at odds of $8, bringing my total odds to $158.40. Meaning, if you put down $1,000 on my picks, you could win more than $158,000. Alright, time for this week's Take It or Leave It. Now, earlier this week, the IWF banned 28 athletes whose test samples from the 2005 and 2007 World Championships came back positive after extensive retesting. Now, many argue that the IWF only did this after coming under extensive media pressure for not doing enough to pressure drug cheats. So guys, take it or leave it. Is the IWAF doing enough to stamp out drug use in athletics? Terry, I'm actually going to take it. Perhaps you could argue that maybe they need to reintroduce life bans for first-time offenders, but when you consider how much money has been spent, how many athletes are being tested, and how often these athletes are being tested, it's pretty hard to argue that they're not doing enough. Andre, I absolutely agree with you, and I'm going to take it as well. The mere fact they're retesting samples from as far back as 2005 and 2007 certainly shows you that the organization is serious. What I am looking forward to though is with the advancement in technology that they will be able to reveal the cheaters much 
earlier than later. Yep, well said. That's all the time we have, guys. We certainly hope you make some money better than JustBet. To see a full list of JustBet events and betting odds, or to watch a repeat of JustBet before the whistle, visit JustBetJA.com. You can also visit JustBet's YouTube channel or Jamaica-Gleaner.com slash videos. Leave us your comments on JustBet's Facebook and Twitter pages. Enjoy the weekend, enjoy the games, and make, make that, that money! money.